All right, it's a little after 2 a.m. After doing a lot of research last night, I found that uh, this flag is uh, not the right type. It actually cut in further on the uh, dove, or the what do they call it, the swallowtail, almost to the uh, center of the, uh, or almost to the blue star field. So I'm going to cut mine that way too. The uh, guide on the uh, 12 companies of Custer's troops were from the Civil War. The one that I was doing was a later edition later 1800s edition. Uh, they were all silk and were hand sewn by a lady from New York back in the Civil War, during the Civil War. Mm -hmm. That's about a quarter of a pound clay right there. Well, I had to come down and do this this morning. I couldn't uh, just wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, it is tomorrow. All right, I'm going to leave that there. I'll come back and uh, be here bright and early. Time to play with some clay. All right, it's in the afternoon the next, that same day. I had a hell of a time getting to sleep last night. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm uh, going to try something. I don't know if it's going to work. The one thing about the Custer Battlefield, it's on a hill. And this is flat. I'm just hoping I can raise this whole thing up. The problem is my screws that I have my board. Attached to this board on. Are right below where I sculpted. Now I see if I can do this. I'm going to. Drive that. And don't kill yourself, Dave.
been trying to think of how I can get this horse in a position where the tail will touch the ground and it'll be more likely to do that if I've got the horse up a little bit and I'm going to have to do some adjusting here. I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do it in my mind. What was holding the board down was this dowel which I'm going to have to cut and uh, somehow reposition it. I've got another dowel around here somewhere right here that I can and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna I just got a lot of things I gotta figure out and uh, I knew this wasn't gonna be easy but uh, Okay, it's going to make a lot of noise here. I can't have this being a square going up, so I'm going to have to make it more of a fluid form. I'm not sure how to do this. Let's see. Well, I got that sawed off. Now I got to figure out what I'm going to do here. I try not how to do it. Horse. See, this copper tubing is what actually is supporting the horse. It's just attached to this uh, dowel. So what I need to do is cut away the uh, tape. I still gotta be careful. I don't wanna have the horse drop down. All right, I got that uh, <laughs> jury rig to work out better. The uh, copper tubing that I've got holding him up is really strong stuff. Um, I managed to raise his legs off the ground a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit more of that when I re-sculpt those hind legs. Uh, I'm going to leave this screw in here because it's right at the bottom of that uh, copper tubing and uh, it'll keep it from sliding down uh, the pole, which it will do because the weight of that uh, horse is going to eventually work on that uh, support. A little bit of a crack right there, but I expected a lot more damage than I got, so. Well, I'm hand-holding the uh, camera, and as you can see, I've been working on the base. I couldn't quit. I just had to keep working on it, and uh, it just was a lot easier to do it without the camera on. So I'm going to call it quits for tonight, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.
please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.